Hey, this is Wesley with Millwright CNC, and today we're going to show you how to connect your laser to your machines. The Makita router mount will come with two drilled and tapped holes. Using the screws provided, you will be able to attach the magnetic quick release laser mount to the front of the Makita router mount. You will then be able to attach the laser to the laser mount. With the DeWalt router mount, we have a laser bracket. The laser bracket will connect to the front of the DeWalt mount using the two 5 16 button cap screws on the front. The same screws that keep the router cap attached to the router mount. Using the screws provided, you will connect the quick release magnetic laser mount to the front of the laser bracket. You will then be able to attach the laser directly to the laser mount. You will receive three different wire types. One that goes to the laser head, that's the wire on the left pictured. A wire that goes to the control box, either with an AC connector or a DuPont connector. That is in the middle with the black plastic connector. And lastly, a fan power wire that is pictured on the right. Both the fan power cord and the input cord will go through the drag chain to the Z axis and connect to the two wires sticking out of the top of the laser. The Carp King 2 and the Carp King M's laser port is shown here. The Power Out Plus and the Mega V laser port is shown here. Just plug the AC connector or the DuPont into the labeled laser ports for your machine. To turn on the laser, you'll have to insert the key, turn it clockwise, turn on the power switch, and press the red reset button on the front of the box. You will see a green light turn on and the fan will start running. The laser will not fire if it's in G0 mode, the rapid movement mode you will need to change it to G1 or G2 or G3 followed by a feed rate. In this case we're going to test the laser using a G1 command so we're going to enter G1 F50 and then we're just going to hit enter. These two codes don't have to be separated but in this case, we are separating it to make it a little bit easier to follow. The command to fire the laser is M3. The command to turn the laser off is M5. In order to fire the laser, you need the M3 code followed by a spindle speed. The spindle speed will correspond to the intensity of the laser. So in our case, if we do M3S, 30, it will fire at 30%. M5 turns the laser off. And if we do M3S100, it will fire at 100% intensity. M5 to turn the laser off. Well, we thank you for joining us today. If you have any questions, you can always call the support line or you can email us at support at millwrightcnc.com. Check out our groups on Facebook, Millwright CNC User Group and Millwright CNC Mega V Group. Or check out our forum on our website. We appreciate you stopping by. Thank you.